nine brain hacks to get rid of anxiety for good. I'm Dr. Trish Lee. In this video, we are going to break those brain hacks down and they are in three categories. Number one, nature. And I'm gonna give you three super awesome strategies to improve internally the way your brain is performing so that you feel less anxious, you'll feel better. Number two, nurture your environment. It can either nurture you so you feel so good being in it, or it can stress you out so you feel so anxious. We're gonna talk about that. And lastly, number three, navigate. Navigate is the one you actually have the most control over, and I'm gonna shed some light on that. So let's dig in. Number one, nature. Nature is how your brain is performing internally in there, what's going on in there. And so when I work with people, I can see on their EEG, their electroencephalogram, the technology that I use to read brain performance patterns, I can see if a person's baseline for anxiety is high in the first place and if it's lowering or if it's getting higher overall. Now, the reason you would have a high baseline of anxiety is number one, yes, it's true, brains don't fall that far from the tree. So if your parents run hot, you are impacted by their, you know, genetics. I'm gonna put in quotes because we know epigenetics says we can rise above our genetics, but your brain will perform similarly to the people in your family. And we know that nurture also impacts that as well but it's how your brain is performing in there. So you may have been born with a brain performance pattern that has more anxiety. Typically, anxiety brews over the lifetime. So your pattern might not be organic that you were born with, but if you were born into a chaotic family, if you were born into an environment with a lot of stress, if there's trauma involved, that can create the brain pattern that has anxiety from a very young age that increases over your lifetime unless you find a way to have less anxiety overall and to deal with anxiety better by offloading it. Okay, so that's nature. So first of all, what can you do for nature? I'm gonna give you the high tech solution and you don't have to do the solution if it doesn't feel good to you, but if you want to, there's technology out there and that's what I've been a proponent of for over 10 years, actually probably much longer than that when I was a university professor, but I have had my own practice providing neurofeedback brain training therapy for 10 years. And there's technology out there, it's called the Muse Headband, M-U-S-E. If you look at the link that's attached to this video, it is a link that will give you 15% off of the headband if you purchase it with this special link for um, being someone in my community, 15% off. And it's a great investment. What this headband does is you put it on, actually I have mine, uh, which was not intended. It's buried under some stuff, so I have to grab it. But this is my Muse headband. It has five sensors in the front and it has two sensors in the ear pieces. And you put the headband on under your hair and what it does is it reads, it's read only, it reads how your brain is performing and then it feeds you back the information about your brain performance pattern auditorily. And you can actually connect it to Spotify and other um, external platforms and you can listen to a podcast and the audio will modulate in and out. If you don't wanna do that, it has soundscapes. I always listen to the ocean plus music so I have music that I can anchor into to chill my brain out. And then behind that is a beach scene and the beach goes choppy, the more anxious my brain gets. And then the beach goes calmer, the more I'm able to regulate my brain into the calm focus mode. And basically it's a teaching tool. It teaches your brain to make more of the optimal brain speed so you will feel less anxious and you don't have to do anything beyond use it. And on this channel, there's a longer video. It's a 30 minute video with my head in the corner where I teach you about brain training, the benefits and how to do it. So check out that video if you're interested. Okay, so you can use this brain training headband or you can work with a neurofeedback provider to be able to bring your brain out of anxiety mode. It works. There's thousands and thousands of studies that shows that this scientifically works and it's non-invasive. So I recommend you do that. Use the link below to get the headband at a discount.
Okay, you don't wanna use tech or it's not in the cards for you right now. Number two is start a meditation practice. When you meditate, it naturally allows your brain to come down and stop using all that high fast energy, that speed that I talked about in the last video. Your brain needs recovery time from that. But if you're just sitting around spinning your wheels and you're thinking, if you're thinking a lot, you're still using high beta, that fast speed. When you meditate, one easy technique is to focus on your breath in, out. And if you're saying that to yourself over and over and over again, you can't have any thoughts. And that's how you will efficiently be able to meditate. Another way is to do a vinyasa, just one easy yoga move. Look it up online if you don't know what I'm talking about. But that yoga move gets your brain into this meditative state because again, you're going into a down dog, then you're going into an up dog, you're stretching your body and you're moving around, which gets the electrical energy in your system flowing. Very important, flow is life. So moving and doing a vinyasa, one easy move, will do that for you. So that's your second strategy within nature. You can get your own system cranking in the right direction by meditating, giving yourself time and space to come down and moving through yoga. It's very intentional movement. Okay, number three is develop a mantra. You might need a mantra to A, talk yourself off a ledge when you need to be, but that's defense. Offense is to remind you that you got this. And I'm sure you know that I borrowed my mantra from Star Wars because why not, right? So the mantra that I use is, I'm one with the force, the force is with me. And I use it as a gap meditation. The gap is in the middle. I'm one with the force, gap, the force is with me. But also when I'm struggling with difficult things, I remind myself I'm one with the force, the force is with me, I got this, I can handle this. And when I say that mantra, especially when I practice it in meditation, when I say that mantra in my head, even when I say it here, I can feel a downshift because it equals downshifting to me in my brain, that downshift gives me a little bit of recovery and it lowers my baseline so I can deal with difficult stuff when we get to the navigate. Okay, so secondly, let's talk about nurture, your environment. So in this video, we're talking about nine hacks to get rid of anxiety. Now, if you tune up your brain and you're using the optimal brain performance mode in the middle, calm, focus, speed, but you keep going into a stressful environment, Every time you go into the stressful environment, it's gonna to try to pull your brain in the extremes. So that is not accomplishing a calm, focused brain for the rest of your life. So you really need to evaluate your environments. And I get you cannot change all of your environments. What I'm saying is to change the ones that you can and facilitate the ones that you can't. So uh, I was just talking to Connor, my stepson who is living with us, but he's going to get his own apartment. And he was talking about, you know, the difference between paying for a little bit more or a little bit less. And I said, if you can afford it, pay a little bit more so that you have a nice environment that you feel good in, not one that makes you feel like you're just surviving and that you can't wait to get out of, one that, and you know, it might be at a different price point or it might just be a different place, one that makes you feel home. And again, I get you might not always be able to do it, but try to set your environments up to thrive. Think about your work environment. Think about your home environment. Don't worry, we're getting to people. If you're thinking, I love my home, but the people in it absolutely drive me nuts, we are getting there. But think about the physical environment first and foremost and set yourself up to thrive. So the home that I, actually this is the longest I've lived in a house because prior to that I was on this chase for something and uh, never found it so kept moving and thankfully I think I found inner peace so, which has allowed me to stay in this home for nine years but in the home that I live in now there is a beautiful sunrise out the back of my home and a beautiful sunset in the front and I'm totally a celestial kind of girl. I love things all uh, in the sky so that's an important thing for me and that environment really helps me thrive. Every morning when I wake up and I'm doing my morning meditation routine, I have the sun coming in my windows. Every evening, it's either coming in the windows from the front when I cook dinner or I'll sit on the front porch. 
thrive mode. Very important that you find that. Okay, let's go to the second um, piece of nurture is schedule. Schedule your life so that it allows you to flow. So many of us don't do this, and I will be honest, I've let my schedule break down, but I am fixing it. But the schedule that keeps me in the best place is one that keeps me in brain boosting mode so I can do things that I love with my brain and then give myself enough recovery time. The thing that's broken down is I don't have enough recovery time now. And thankfully we're moving into summer and I'll get that back because I won't have to run my kids around and then by fall I'm changing things. So I have lots of recovery time. Brain on, brain recovery. Brain on, brain recovery. Stay out of brain draining mode. Don't use social media too much. That'll drain your brain. Don't use substances or behaviors that drain you. And again, we're gonna talk about people in just a second, but think about your schedule. Set your life up to thrive. Don't stay in go, go, go mode, just surviving. Don't ride the couch because that's just escapism mode. Get a healthy balance going of brain boosting and brain recovery. Okay, the last thing is people who disrupt your peace. Now, if it's people in the world who are disrupting your peace or if all people disrupt your peace, that's because your brain's using so much of that high fast energy. It, go, it goes back to what I said in the last video. It's anger and irritability. If everybody annoys you, then it's probably your brain, the nature piece that needs to be worked on. Get the headband and start training your brain into the optimal mode. But if there's people who really are just combative or people who just are relentless in disturbing your peace, think about how to balance your time with them. And even if the people in your life are, you love them and you wanna be around them, but sometimes it's a bit much for you, it goes back to the schedule. Spend time being with the people and caring for them, nurturing them and giving them what they need, but then get time to replenish and to fill your cup back up through brain recovery. It Think about people and think about how you can give to them, but you have to fill yourself back up to be able to keep extending. So remember that. And again, if there's people who are really just a drain on you and there's no way to balance it, nor is there a way to solve it, it's time to evaluate it. Not that I want you leaving people behind, but I do want you to be really intentional about the people that you spend time with. Okay, let's move on to navigate. Navigate is your responses to the way your brain is performing and to your environment. It's how you move through your world and through your life. And hopefully you are responding, not just reacting. If you're reacting, your brain's totally stuck in high beta survival mode because survival mode keeps you hyper vigilant. You're always on the lookout for the next thing that's coming at you for you to react at. And if you do find yourself just reacting, especially with anger, irritability, overwhelm, you really need to go back to nature and bring your brain down. Get the headband, do meditation, add some yoga, get a mantra going. Those are our techniques for this video. But start moving through the world with healthier responses. Woo, power went out, but I'm going with it. Startled me. Okay, so what are healthier responses? The responses are being able to choose, my lights are back on, totally weird, uh, being able to carry yourself through the world, back off, trippy, being able to carry yourself through the world in a new way, standing confidently in that internal peace that you have. So what I mean by that is if things are tough out in the world, you're tougher you're stronger than you know that you are. Remember that. And I, as I was preparing for this video, I remembered that when I was young, my maiden name is Ward, W-A-R-D. So I remember that when things got tough, this is so funny to think about me as a teenager going, you're Trish Ward for, there were some swear words in it, you know, but basically it was, you're Trish Ward for Pete's sake. You can handle this. And now, being in the neuroscience field, I know that when we talk to ourselves in the third person, when I refer to myself as Trish Ward, what it does for me is give me more confidence. So this is a brain hack that you can use. Carry yourself stronger and tell yourself, you're Trish Ward for God's sake. You have this. You got this thing. You are one with the force, my friend. Remember that you can carry yourself strong through difficult times and I've had some difficulties going on lately, which actually I plan on sharing with everybody for learning uh, once I get organized. But 
during it, I was saying, I can't handle one more day of this. And then I thought to myself, yes, I can. I just don't want to because it's been day after day, but I totally can. I handled today, I handled yesterday, I handled last week. I can handle this. You're Trish Ward for Pete's sake. So I want you to know that also. Okay, two more. Another brain hack for navigation is breath. Breathe. And again, I remember this. I remember walking into my GREs in college, taking three deep breaths just to reset myself before I had to take that test. And I still do it. If I'm in a difficult emotional conversation, and for me, it's usually about co-regulating and helping the person in my life to be able to get through a difficult thing. If I'm in that difficult situation, but I can feel my emotions rising and my anxiety rising, I'll take longer deliberate breaths. So take three deep breaths and especially if you're dealing with a situation in front of you and you can feel your anxiety increasing, breathe through it. And if you're in my world and you see me taking awkwardly long breaths, you know that I'm regulating myself through whatever we have going on. And that's okay, that is a regulation technique to offset the anxiety while I'm figuring out how to get less of it. And I encourage you to use your breath. Okay, last one. Last one is have an escape plan. When you're dealing with anxiety or stressors or difficult situations, and if you are rising, you can feel that high, fast energy. If you remember, I said it's high, fast energy that can get faster and can get higher, can get more of. If you feel that going on, have something that you tell the person. So what I tell my beautiful children when they're pushing my buttons is, I need some time and space. Please don't keep coming at me. Just give me a few minutes so that I can figure this out and then we'll talk about it then. If they can't do that, I leave. My escape plan is I just go for a walk. Sometimes it's a one minute walk. Sometimes it's a Forrest Gump walk and I'm back like an hour and a half later and my husband's like, I thought you were dead. I'm like, no, I'm just regulating my action through the hilliest neighborhood. Not only have I got a million hill steps, I am better when I come back. It's usually one minute. And what the one minute does is it brings that energy down. And so part of these brain hacks is learning to feel your own energy and know what's going on. And we increased your self-awareness in the last video. So feeling where are you at and when it's rising and when you're about to blow, when you're about to chandelier. And before that, giving yourself the out, know your escape plan. My escape plan is to ask the person to give me some time and space. And if they're in, in a place an emotionally immature place where they are not able to do that, then I give myself the time and space I just asked for. I don't just bolt. I say, you know what? I need a few minutes to process this. Give me a couple of minutes and we can talk about it then. And if they can't do that, I'm like, I'm gonna need a few minutes. I'll be back in a few minutes, out. And my escape plan, one time, you might've heard me tell this story. Literally, I had like Thanksgiving dinner going. I had so many things going in the kitchen and I was having my buttons pushed and I asked my kids to go away and uh, it was my beautiful son. I said, you know what, dude? I'm in the middle of making dinner. Let's talk about that when you're done. Couldn't. It's coming at me, coming at me. You know, they're teenagers. And he wouldn't stop. And I'm like, dude, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to take the out here. I turned everything off and just went out the front door. And he's going, where are you going? And I'm like, I just need a little bit of time and space. And then I got the time and space and I came back and I helped him through the difficult thing. So take the time and space when you need it. Okay, if you're looking for help on this journey, please reach out to me, drtrishlee.com. Um, at drtrishlee.com, in the middle of my home neurofeedback coaching page, there's a link for the Muse headband. So if you're ever looking for it again and you don't wanna come back to this video, it's right on the home, on the home neurofeedback coaching page. It takes you through to the manufacturer's website and the 15% shows up in the checkout. Uh, okay, I hope that helps. And as always, control your brain or it will control you.